Hello guys, my name is SuperMonkeyCherim and it has certainly been a long time. Both in me uploading to YouTube but also just talking about Super Monkey Ball in general on YouTube, I felt like since the release of Banana Mania, the series had a bit of a dry spell. So this random announcement kind of caught me off guard. The trailer happened really quickly and suddenly, so there are a couple things that I think are worth pointing out. So let's get right to them. There were two trailers, one shown in the Nintendo Partner Showcase, and another uploaded by Sega. The game seems like it's going to have 200 stages, which is pretty high for a Super Monkey Ball game. That's around how much Super Monkey Ball 2 had, so that's always a treat. From the many screenshots and reveal footage, it seems like switches, bumpers, conveyors, and dash panels are making their return. Something worth mentioning is that there seems to be a bounce pad mechanic in one level. This was always something that was exclusive to mods, so it's cool seeing it become a real thing. The new spin dash mechanic seems fine, in my opinion. At least. I don't think it's as disruptive as the jump, and I could see it being used well in speedruns. There are some pretty creative world choices here, in which we see a jungle world, a castle world, a night city world, an oriental world, a stadium world, candy slash sweets world, and a cliffside world. I think the fact that it's going to be 4 player co-op and 16 player online mode is pretty insane. I was extremely disappointed that multiplayer was removed in Banana Mania, so I'm really glad Sega listened to their criticism. Something worth noting is that when they showcased the Banana Hunt mode, if you were to look at the minimap, you'd see that there's another character on the minimap that has not been revealed. Looking closer, it seems to be Dr. Badboon, which means that this will mark his first playable appearance in a Super Monkey Ball game. Looking at more of the stages, it appears that there is a stage with a thin wire, which makes it seem like they're trying to go back to their old roots in terms of difficulty, which I think is very appreciated. The game is apparently a Nintendo Switch exclusive, which I think is a very, very strange choice. But in one of the trailers you would see that they have keyboard controls, which means there probably might be a PC port in the future. Lastly, let's talk about the characters. Character customization seems to be back, which is nice. The main characters seem to be Ai Ai, Mimi, Baby, Gon Gon, Yan Yan, Doctor, and a new monkey who is named Pallet. Very interesting name. They all have drastic redesigns, which I think they look they look fine. They aren't bad. I think it'll take time to get used to, but I do appreciate that they've deviated away from the Banana Blitz designs. And as stated earlier, it seems like Dr. Bad Boon is also going to be a character. The website shows that if you purchase the Digital Deluxe Edition, which is $70 by the way, which is kind of a lot, and the base game is $50, they must be really confident that this game will do well. You will have access to 6 extra Sega characters. This DLC is called the Sega Character Game Pass 1, so it seems more similar to Smash's Fighters Pass. My theory is that Sonic, Tails, Beat, Kazuma Kiryu, and Morgana are probably all returning with an extra character. My speculation for this character is that it could be Amigo, Billy Hatcher, Knights, or maybe another Sonic character like Knuckles or Eggman. Something worth noting is that it's called Sega Character Pass 1, which means that there will be a Sega Character Pass 2, probably with 6 more characters. Unfortunately, lastly, there was no sign of Jam or Jet in the trailer or in the website, but I think they'll find their way to this game. After all, they weren't revealed when Banana Mania was announced, but they eventually got their reveals later. Lastly, another thing you can purchase is called the Legendary Banana Edition, which appears to have a reversible cover. An adventure book, and then you will also get a physical copy of Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania for free. Huh, kinda neat. Oh, and if you pre order the game, you get I I in a banana suit, which, I mean, come on, why wouldn't you get that? I know this was short though, but that's it pretty much. There's not too much that was revealed, but I hope you enjoyed watching. It's It's been a really long time doing something like this, and it's a little nostalgic, and I, I did enjoy making this. Uh, I'm really excited for this game. This is the first Super Monkey Ball game we're getting in over 10 years that's new. So I'm excited, but I'm trying to be cautiously optimistic because I, I will be honest, I did feel like I got burned by Banana Mania due to a lot of questionable decisions when the game was released. Nonetheless, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Bye.